SOLIDWORKS 2010 further adds to the functionality of existing sheet metal features as well. Things like closed corners and hems. Let's take a look at a couple of challenging situations here. Here we have a sketch bend in an edge flange that's not at 90 degrees to each other. Well new in SOLIDWORKS 2010 is the ability to handle this. I'm going to tighten the gap up a little bit and simply select one of these edges and we can see that SOLIDWORKS handles this quite gracefully. We can pick any of the options that we're used to and SOLIDWORKS manages that quite well. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at another situation. In this case, multiple jog bends right there. Also new in SOLIDWORKS 2010 is the ability to support this as well. We're going to change the corner type in this case to be edge to edge. What we end up with is a very nice seam that's ready to be welded together. And finally, a really challenging circumstance. We have two bend radiuses that are a very different size coming together right here. Let's do one more closed corner here. And in this case, we are going to open this up just a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and see that SOLIDWORKS manages that transition between those two different size radiuses very nicely. Another area I wanted to look at was hems. When we go into the hem tool in SOLIDWORKS 2010, we can see that we have the new capability to go around edges. That allows us to create more hems like we've never been able to do before. Also new is the ability to edit the hem length. And we can see that this is very easy, very similar to the edge flange tool I can simply dimension off of an existing edge. This is much more convenient than something, say, a spin box maybe. Another advantage to the hem tool is a limitation that we have had in the past where you have to create all hems on the same side of the material. Well new in 2010 is the ability to toggle each hem in a separate direction. And we can see that we have a nice part creating very complex features. Let's take a look at that flattened model. It looks great. But one other challenging thing is what if I need to create a left or right hand version of this. SOLIDWORKS now supports this very well with some great new features. When I go into mirror part, I now have the ability to break the link to the original part. And what actually happens is SOLIDWORKS stores all the features that were used to create that original part. So at any time, if I want, I can modify these features and make changes unique to the left or right hand side. Just another great example of how SOLIDWORKS is continuing to add functionality to all of its existing capabilities.